Welcome to Poor Pluto. Pluto was once considered the ninth planet in our solar system, but now we call it a dwarf planet. So why the change? We're going to figure that out today in Poor Pluto. A solar system is made up of a star and the planets and other space objects that revolve around it. Our solar system star is the sun and our eight planets orbit that sun. That makes me wonder, what is a planet? The definition we've been using for planet is that it's a large, round body that revolves around a star. A group called the International Astronomical Union, or the IAU, was formed in 1919. This group brings together distinguished astronomers from all nations of the world and is the world's largest professional body for astronomers. The mission of the IAU is to promote and safeguard the science of astronomy in all its aspects, including research, communication, education, and development through international cooperation. In 2006, the IAU members gathered and agreed on a definition for planets. Their definition starts off that a planet is a celestial body. Now, the word celestial actually means positioned in or relating to the sky or outer space, okay? So it's gotta be out there in outer space. And the IAU determined three requirements that an object must meet to be considered a planet. Let's look at those. The first planetary requirement is that it must be in orbit around the sun. The second requirement is for it to have sufficient mass for its self-gravity to overcome rigid body forces so that it assumes a hydrostatic equilibrium. Basically, it just needs to have a nearly round shape. <laughs> the final planetary requirement is that it has to clear its neighborhood around its orbit. Basically what that means is uh, a planet must be able to be gravitationally dominant and not share its orbital space with any other bodies of a similar size. So if we put together all three of those, we have our definition of a planet. A planet is a celestial body that is in orbit around the sun, has a nearly round shape, and has cleared its neighborhood around its orbit. After this definition was developed in 2006, Pluto only met two of the three requirements. It does orbit the sun and it has a nearly round shape. However, Pluto does not clear its neighborhood. If you look here at its um, orbital path, you can see that it crosses into Neptune's orbit. So that's why Pluto was demoted and became a dwarf planet. Core Pluto. So now that Pluto is a dwarf planet, let's talk about what a dwarf planet is. Dwarf planets are nearly round bodies whose orbits cross the orbits of other bodies. Most are found in a region of the solar system beyond Neptune's orbit called the Kuiper Belt. These objects are far away and hard to study. So when you think about it, nothing about Pluto actually changed, just our definition for a planet and that changed our classification for Pluto. It's now considered a dwarf planet. In fact, I made a silly fake movie trailer about Pluto. I hope you enjoy.
So I hope that made you laugh a little bit, but you could also connect why Pluto is no longer a planet. Because it doesn't clear its neighborhood, it crosses the path of Neptune, and now it's considered a dwarf planet. That's all for me. Take care. Peace.